Right, so now we're going to show you how to set up the saxophone and lift it out of the case, etc., without damaging it. So we've already put the reed onto the mouthpiece. So what we're now going to do, if you remember, we're going to hold the neck by the tube, okay? So you never grab it round this octave mechanism. That is very fragile. So you hold like an arch over the top, and then we're actually going to grease the cork. Okay, so you'll have a little bit of cork grease. This is what comes with the saxophone. Or if it's a Yamaha, it'll be a little, little round tub. So just pop a little bit of grease onto the cork and just give it a wiggle. And that will just moisten it a little bit. And you can also put a tiny bit around there because it's metal into metal. Okay, so you're holding it by the tube and then just wiggle the mouthpiece onto the cork. So there's about a centimeter of cork showing. So again, you're not grabbing this. This is very fragile. Just by the tube and wiggle the mouthpiece on. So the reed is facing the floor the same way as the hole is. Okay. And then when we put this bit down, we've got to be careful not to break the reed. The thin end of the reed is very fragile. So we put it into the case. So the reed is sticking out of the case like that. And then if you take the next strap out of the bag and put that over your head. Okay. And then when you're lifting the saxophone out of the case, it's really important that you only hold it by the tube. The tube is strong, but all of the mechanism is very fragile. So, and it's joined together in two places there are two joins it's in three pieces so there's two joins there and there you will see some people saying to hold the saxophone there and lift it out of the case but that does put pressure on these joints so the best way to hold it is put your thumb in the bell finger just to the left of this next screw and put your thumb on the top and then just slowly lift it up like that so you're not yanking it out of the case so really gently okay so you're not grabbing any of these rods. That's all very fragile. So by the bell, finger and thumb by the tube, and then just slowly lift it up like that. Then you won't damage any of this key. This is all very fragile. All these rods, open keys right up here, things like that. So we don't want to be grabbing it by the rods. Okay, so again, you, hold, you always hold it by the tube. Undo that screw and that releases the neck plug. Just give that a wiggle. Pop that in the case. You don't need that when you're playing. It protects this octave lever here. It sticks up. Okay. And then, again, when you're holding onto the neck, hold it like an arch over the top so you're not touching all this mechanism here. And then we slide. We just give this a wiggle side to side. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Again, not pushing down on there, that's very fragile, by the tube. And we're not going to worry too much about lining it up for now, but if you just do the next screw up a little bit. And then, when you're holding it, again, hold it, cup it by the bell, lift it, and then attach the next strap. So if you just pull the clip back, hook it onto the ring, halfway down the main body. Okay. Okay, and then let it just hang to the side, just to get used to the weight on your neck. We do supply padded neck straps as well. So if you're finding it a bit heavy with one of these, I'll show you the accessory pack later on. Okay. Okay, so, for now we're not gonna worry too much about all these, all these key work for now. I'm just gonna show you how the, the general position Okay, so feet shoulder width apart, bottom of the saxophone in the middle of your right leg. So I'm just going to loosen that next screw so that this swings round a bit like that. So we're now going to adjust the neck strap until we're in the same position as we were before. When we were holding it, we were pushing up so the mouthpiece was 
pushing your head up a little bit. So I'm going to adjust my neck strap a little bit <clears throat> until my head is pointing up a little bit. Okay, and now I want you to push forward with both thumbs so your left thumb is on the black button at the top of the saxophone just like that so the jointy bit of your thumb is on the black button and the nail part is over the octave key here we're not going to use that for a little while that's for your high notes but you need to be in the right position so the jointy bit on the black button there and then your right thumb goes under the hook there's a hook there at the bottom to the end of your thumb where your nail bit is like that and then your fingers it's going to be as if you're holding two cups so nice and rounded with your fingers again we're not going to worry too much about where they go we're just going to get the first note okay so let's give the reader a bit of a suck again just get used to blowing through the gap on the reed like we did when we were just blowing with the neck pushing forward a little bit with both thumbs and that helps lift the neck onto your top teeth and that'll take the pressure off the reed. So all my fingers are in the air. If you get a, a noise like this if you get a horrible noise like that don't worry just take it out of your mouth a little bit until it mellows a bit like this so. so your lips should be flat so if your lips are rounded you'll probably get a honking noise like this out bit by bit until it makes a nicer sound that's what we're after so push it away from you 